Man is definitely in the building, you feel me? Yeah. Nothing before the fam, it's the feel and it's chilling. Yeah. Making the right connection, stacking, stacking money to the ceiling. What's going on, folks? It's K Spade, the prospect, aka the big blue Chevy driver. You know, sometimes referred to as the YouTube MVP. And I'm back on this Memorial Day evening with another NBA 2K12 My Player Gameplay commentary. And in this game, you got me and my Orlando Magic teammates facing the Boston Celtics. And every time we play the Celtics, they, they are able to pull the best out of me. And in all honesty, I think it boils down to the fact that I patterned my game after the young Ray Allen. I'm talking high top fade, Jesus Shuttlesworth, Ray Allen. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like this Ray Allen too, but I'm talking about the young Ray Allen. You know what I'm talking about. So um, in this game, the one thing I really want to preach on is keeping an eye on your fuel level. And I know y'all thinking, fuel level? What, what are we driving? But no, no, stay with me for a minute. So for instance, right here before the tip off, it's time to get turned up. Before I do, I want to take a glance in the top right hand corner of my screen and I want to take a check on my fuel level. So as I do that, I see I'm here on F. Nine times out of ten, you're going to start the game on F unless you had a wild previous night. Let's say your athlete is a drinker. You go out, you party all night, you know, you throw back more than you should throw back. You won't start this game on F. But I start on F as well I should. All should be fine. Now you're looking at this double team here and you're thinking, what's going on? Well, let me tell you one more thing we should talk about. Udrick got hurt. I know y'all thinking, I, what did Udrick do for Chris Duhon to take his starting position? Well, let me give you another small story. So we come out of the tunnel, we're getting ready to do the jump ball, and I look around and I realize that Chris Duhon is on the court. That was the first time I realized Udrick wasn't there. So I'm looking at Duhon and he got this look on his face like he, you know, like I shouldn't be looking at him strange, like he's always there. So I kind of glance over at Turk. I'm like, yo, where's Udrick? He like, he got hurt last game. You don't remember? I'm like, what? I know I don't pay that guy no attention, but damn, I ain't expect that. So let me give you guys another piece of info. I'm just chilling, riding in the big blue Chevy when I get a phone call from the league telling me I've been accepted to be in a slam dunk contest. As you see me showing you right here that I can dunk. So that gave me two different emotions. For one, it made me happy. I was like, yes, they recognizing my talent. Let's go put your boy in the slam dunk contest. But on the flip side, it got me hating on like crazy. It's other NBA athletes, you know, they walking around saying that they're more deserving to be in the slam dunk contest than me because I'm a shooter. So with this game in the back of my mind, I wanted to remind people I'm a shooter by choice. I mean, I ain't a shooter because I got two bad knees. I can jump too. I just, you know, that just ain't my game, but don't get it twisted. Don't get it messed up. I can play above the rim. So I got that in the back of my mind, this game. I got the fact that Chris Duhon is our starting point guard in the back of my mind. And it's a lot of weight. So also, I'm thinking about this fuel level thing. Hold on. Rainmaker. Rainmaker dropping right there, man. Let's get it popping. So I did a great job of playing defense on Ray Allen. Uh, before somebody state the obvious, I want to already say this is not the Ray Allen that used to be a beast. Put on the line right there, y'all. No Rainmaker. But it's still Ray Allen. He still got one of the purest jump shots, whatever that means. He's still pure from deep. But I did a great job of defending him. And also, I did a great job of getting Dwight Howard involved. I know what you're going to say, but you got other teammates. Yeah, but those guys stink. So I don't really try to get them involved. But I get Dwight Howard involved. So right here, I finish, and I'm thinking that's a great finish. And then once again, I go back to damn. I probably should have dunked that. Because they're going to say, see, he can't even dunk. Now y'all see what goes on in my head. My head is all over the place during this game. But early on, I really felt like if we got a big enough lead, then we could cruise to the finish line. And that's a very dangerous thing to assume, but we'll just have to see how it go. So I'll show you right here, left hand layup, left side of the cup. That's my thing, y'all, because I feel like it catches the defense off guard. Maybe it doesn't, but just, you know, from a logical point of view, a right-handed guy going to the other side of the basket, it just seems like it would catch him off guard. So Dwight Howard catches the alley-oop right here, and it puts a thought in my head. You know what? Ray Allen can't possibly jump with me. Ray Allen is old. I am young. He can't jump with me. So that's in the back of my mind. So I tell the guys, you know what? Turk, Duhan, you know what? Keep an eye on me because I'm, I'm going to be cutting to the basket. So right here, Turkaloo sees me for the great alley-oop. And look at the replay. You'll see what I'm saying about Ray Allen. You see Ray Allen's vertical? Look at this. Can we even call that a vertical? 
that's not a we'll call that a gravity like gravity just really told him uh uh old man sit on down so okay doing a good job right here our defense is really good that's that's, that's what really helped us out I kept looking at the beginning of the game and I didn't know what the thing was rainmaker but in, in retrospect I think it was our defense because we still had the same issues we have we still got the, the fact that nobody can score but me and Dwight turnovers is still somewhat an issue but defense was there this game and that's not really what we're known for Dwight plays good defense but the other guys really don't so it's not a big lead but it's a somewhat comfortable lead we go into the second everything is still going our way now they switched up at some point they had to get Ray Allen off of me I was doing them wrong I was treating them like an ugly stepchild an ugly fat redhead stepchild so they put Paul Pierce on me Paul Pierce he can't jump no higher than Ray Allen but I guess he's a little heavier guy he can get more physical with me I, I don't know somehow or another I say that and I go right back to Ray Allen being on me you see what I do I take him to the hole and I abuse him now let me show you guys something that you may or may not be accustomed to seeing here I called for the screen I pulled it midi money you already know that's me right you could tell I thought I was at a different part of the video but it's all good stay with me the midi is me but here we go this is something you're not used to seeing I realized that this guy is behind me and cannot defend me and I just go to the hole and dunk on three people turn my back to him because I don't even want to see that sorry look on their face and I think right here wait right there I think I passed gas I'm not sure but I think I fought it right in the old boy's face I think I don't know man so I'm telling y'all <laughs> slam dunk contest I do that put me in there man so at the end of the shot clock here, a strong take by me. I get the and one, go to the line. You see my dude is happy about it, right? Look, clap. Nothing too major. Now I'm on fire. You would think I can make this up and under, but oh, watch out. Damn, Dwight Howard just dunked on me. Ray Allen. Uh, who is this? I don't even know who that guy is, but you get in the picture too. You got to watch out. When Dwight feel like taking off, he takes off. So I'm showing you here at the half, we got a pretty comfortable lead. And you see what I'm saying? We still got a lot of turnovers, but rebounds are there, and, and we're making them shoot a bad percentage. That's because of our defense. And there they go. You know, they always talk about Dwight Howard like he the only one balling, but it's all good. He the star of the team, I think. I'll take that. You see right here in the halftime highlights, what do you see? Padlock defense from K-Spade. What was that, Ray Allen? What was that? The first half, a letdown for Ray Allen. Not a lot of shots falling. He's under 30%. Under 30% for Ray Allen. I would take all the credit for that. So 32 points at the half. All seems to be going well, right? No big deal. Come back late in the third. You see a tough finish for me. Everything was going good, and I was thinking, you know what? At some point, we need to keep an eye on that fuel level. I came out playing so much more. I don't want to say so much harder, but just so much more physical than I normally play. I felt like I was using my fuel up faster than normal. So did Paul Pierce get in that picture? I believe he did. Paul, you don't want to do that, man. I'm a slam dunk contest contestant, man. You don't want to just you don't want to just run out here like that. You get your ass put in the poster. So I come back with another strong finish in the paint. Everything seems to be going my way. Everything seems to be going the way of the Orlando Magic. This is what we want. And we're in Boston. How did I leave that out? So I looked at the stats. I guess I just had too much free time on my hand. I looked at the stats and realized that we shoot a better percentage at home. So everything's going good here. You see I'm able to turn that over and watch this play here, folks. Oh, get out the way. Look, man, slam dunk contest contestant. You see this shit? Let's go, man. Now I know what you guys are thinking. How in the hell did Turkaloo know to throw it to you? So you can't see it full speed. Look at that. <laughs> Let me show it to you again, right? So I'm running, and then boom, Blake face. I give Turkaloo the Blake face. He sees it out of his peripheral. He see the Blake face. Look at Paul Pierce. That ain't no jump shot, Paul. Get out the way. Uh, Blake face, man. Blake face for the win. So I told reporter, you guys, Doris man. Burke has a report for our Sprite Spark of the game. Doris. Hey, Kevin. Well, the Magic Spark has to be the great play from their two spot. Everything went his way right from the first whistle, and he just took over the early part of this basketball game. 
Can he take over in the final period? Let's watch and see. All right, so I checked my fuel level at the start of the fourth, and I'm damn near on E. Rainmaker. I have been playing my ass off, but I feel myself running out of fuel. I feel it. So I'm doing everything I can, and I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys, the worst feeling ever is that feeling that the opposing team is just walking you down. Chris Duhan, get the damn ball off your head. You see what I got to deal with? I got a point guard that focused more on spinning a ball on the top of his damn head than coming out here playing ball. That's what I got to deal with. But at any rate, y'all, like I'm saying, I can feel the lead slipping away. I mean, the third quarter is always a tough quarter for me and my teammates. And I could just feel the lead slipping away. I could just feel it slipping away. And I just showed you guys on the fuel gauge, I was almost on E. Now look at this. This is a fast break. I'm on the sprint and I'm dribbling like Ron Artest. And I knew something was wrong. I checked the fuel level again and I'm, I'm out. I'm out of fuel. You see this, the midi's not falling. I mean, I don't know what to say, y'all. I got the midi here. No money. Nothing's falling. It's a horrible feeling. I'm out of gas. I'm trying to do whatever I can to get my teammates involved because I know I offensively I can't contribute right now. I am out of fuel. The game's over. I just take a rainmaker for the hell of it. It's not falling. That's a tough way to go out, y'all. That's a tough way to go out. I was the best player on the court for three and a half quarters, and I just ran out of fuel. I just ran out of fuel. But all right, y'all, I'm out. I'll catch you on the next video. Peace. It can't be easy to lose a game when you have the kind of performance you did tonight. What did you have to say to the team in the locker room afterwards? I mean, I didn't say a lot. I let Coach do most of the talking. Sometimes it's not my place to give a speech, and tonight didn't feel like one of those situations. I have a couple things I know I need to work on, but I was pretty happy with my game overall. So. It made sense to let coach focus on what he thought we didn't do well. And believe me, he's happy to let us know. We need these kind of experiences to get better though, you know? So hopefully in the long term, this game ends up being a small step in the right direction, despite the fact that we lost. Rainmaker.